Okay, I don't have a very good tape recorder, but I do have a Pro Class stereo recorder, so I decided to try to hook this up and see if I can verify that the cassette works. Turns out it works great. So I'm going to prove that by, I dumped out some RAM that's garbage in there. I'm going to enter some data. Sorry for the typing. I'm just going to enter Just going to enter some data and verify it's there. Well, I made a little typo there, but that's okay. That's okay. So I'm going to dump it out, verify it's there. Sure enough, it's there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this using a save command. So when I execute this, it'll save it to tape theoretically. So record. Save. It's completed with the save, so I'll stop the recorder. Now I'm going to clear some of that so that it, you see it's changed. We're just going to put FFs in there. And I'll leave some of the original data in there. Dump it out and verify that it's in there. So now I'm going to back the tape up a little bit. And play it forward a little bit. And I'm going to put it in play. I'm going to execute the get command. This should get it from the tape when I start playing. So I'll start to play, start the recorder. If there's no error, this should come back with just a prompt and a location, which it did. So I'm going to stop the recorder, and I'm going to dump out the same contents. I had cleared it with Fs, now we'll see if it's really been recorded and saved. And you can see it went back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it was saved, played back off the tape. So the cassette recorder is working great. Now, this is really does depend on tweaking the volumes for playback and record, but the electronics in this saw is working great for saving and restoring from cassette tape. The, I've tried several different recorders. The quality of the record um, medium is, is fairly important. I tried some little micro cassettes. They didn't work. Uh, I don't have any other uh, Philips cassette except this um, pro quality one, but I'm sure that there's plenty of other good data storage tapes that you can use for this. So again, we dumped memory, entered data, saved it to a cassette, played it, uh, changed the data, played it back, and verified that it does record and save properly from cassette.